folks, this is your boy Hat Free Speaks. Let me make a minor adjustment here. We're going to jump into in Montreal, the performance that was there, the commentary reaction by Roger and Brian, and this song is called Now I'm Here. All right, now I'm here with Queen with another reaction to this Montreal performance that I'm continuing. You all think I forgot? No, not really, because I know you guys didn't forget. So folks, if you're new, be sure to bang that subscribe button, notification bell, give the video a like, give it a share, because we're jumping in today with Now I'm Here, done by Queen, the commentary version, which means, folks, we get to hear Roger and Brian giving their two cents, and I might be inclined to do the same as we listen to the song in its entirety. All right, my first time reaction to this commentary version, and first time watching, I'm getting to share that with you folks, all right? So let's jump in without further ado. Some audience shots. <laughs> this is interesting. And the original, the old version of this, which was sold under the confusing title of We Will Rock You, <laughs> um, they neatly cut this bit out for some reason. They being, I guess, the original people that created this uh, tour video, tour DVD, so... I think Brian's about to say, we're about to see something exclusive. Our chaps were able to restore it nicely. Now I'm there. <laughs> Very well done, chaps. old pace as well isn't it compared yeah. with the record about twice the speed i think like a lot of the songs in this concert i mean a lot of songs live tended to be the only comment i'm gonna make here is the fact that before this song we did save me so we went from something very slow paced i know brian and roger are talking about the pace to this one right now so again really good with queen they can always up the ante like that mainly because you know Again, it's it's late, great Freddie Mercury uh, doing his famous sort of razzmatazz, able to sort of dip into those notes, bring in that energy, and then really sort of, with that enthusiasm, take it up a notch, like here in this song. You can't carry this energy, you can't come out of Save Me, singing Save Me with that energy and then sing this song. You need a whole, you have to be a whole different beast to carry it, you know what I'm saying? So let's jump back in. Good old pace as well, isn't it? Compared yeah. with the record, about twice the speed, I think. Like a lot of the songs in this concert, I mean, a lot of songs live tended to be much faster than the records, basically because they gained excitement and intensity by being a little faster, but we took that to extremes, I think, on these couple of nights. Um, I think it's, uh, they were, because they were one-offs, we weren't entirely relaxed, and and a little the tension and slight disagreements between the film crew and ourselves and um tended to just i guess you could call it rushed but it, i just call it fast it gains you know where it, it loses a little and it gains some i think from the the tempos John's really moving around a lot and really hammering it, I've got to say. I think there's a bit of extra edge in John that night, isn't there? Really? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Definitely. Just the mere fact of having cameras, of course, in a situation changes everything. Yeah, I think uh, he thought he was getting paid extra for dancing. <laughs> Taking the piss bite. 
You taking the my the old Michael, mate? Come on, Roger. I'll get hey. I'm quite happy to get paid extra for dancing, mate. Put some cameras in me. Well, you wouldn't even I don't think you. I'm not dancing as well as John, anyways. But look, say about me. This is about this video right here. I just find that comment quite funny. <laughs> I wonder what his I bet his response would be like, ha ha, very funny chaps. Brian, I'm still waiting for my royalty check, please. I think there's a bit of extra edge in John that night, isn't there? Really? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Definitely. Just the mere fact of having cameras, of course, in a situation changes everything. Yeah, I think uh, he thought he was getting paid extra for dancing. Fred's looking in the eye when you're playing. I've always made you play a bit harder. <laughs> yes. I mean, this is, oh, what a voice, man. Listen. For the bump. For the bump. That is it, folks. I will be doing another reaction to the next song after this, uh, which I think I've done. I'm not sure. It's the Dragon Attack versus the crowd. Uh, I think I've done that, but I've not done the commentary version, I don't believe. So that was it, folks. That was it. That was the commentary version for uh, Now I'm Here at Montreal. They're quite funny, actually. They actually are quite... They actually... I think Roger and Brian, they're just having a jolly good old time watching this. You know what I mean? So... And it's good. They're not hung up on how much they, they miss their dear friend or both friends, John and uh, Freddie. Obviously, if, if they see John outside of the music arena, that's different. But, like, obviously, Freddie, they're not able to sort of physically sort of touch him and, and say hey how's it going you know and you get a response as such but it's it's good that they're not hung up on that element of it but just so caught up with sharing with their fans at the time and having a laugh and that energy like all right yeah we know what it is this is what it that's what it was but look we're here we're gonna make we're gonna take we're gonna take the piss mate we're gonna have a laugh and that's what, yeah so i will look forward to one day listening to this in its entirety like without these breaks and then put it uploading it and stuff like that you know separately so once i've gone through this entire array of uh, commentaries breaking them down sharing the reaction with you i will do a full-on i may share that here on youtube i may not where i just indulge in a full queen full concert montreal commentary both the commentary and without the commentary uh bender we call it that a day where i just freaking mong out on queen let's just say that all right folks that was my reaction make sure you are staying safe if you haven't already go check out the queen playlist there are some great songs in there you might say hat free speaks queen songs are all great well if that's the case why did they make the greatest hits and only pick the select few you know what i mean so they picked a few that probably did well in the charts who knows but anyway, but I'm sure you'll find your favourite in there in the playlist. So, the show must go on and we shall continue. Make sure you are staying safe and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.